YouTube, what is up with y'all today? It's Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker rotation. Man, it just feel like it's been a long time since I like even recorded a video, you know, because a lot of, once I get on the road or whatever, like I can do almost damn near like five videos in like one day. That's as far as like doing like sneaker reviews and stuff like that. And then that's why I had like so much content come the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and sometimes Monday because and even very rarely excuse me even very rarely sometimes Wednesday so you know try not to really drop on Wednesday all like that because yeah at the time I just had a lot of kicks to get out but now that the the, the velocity and intensity is starting to slow down I can actually just fall back um, and just take it a little bit more easy as opposed to, it just felt like, man, it just felt like a cowboy on the draw with it with the pistol. Like, pow, pow. All these cops and picking up everything. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Picking up all the stuff that I want and that stuff that I felt like I needed for my collection. So, anyway, not to drag it out too much longer. This is going to be a quick sneaker rotation. So, yeah. Monday. Oh, also, too, just future reference. In case you're new to the channel. Thanks for all the new subs. Thanks for all the people that's been commenting, subscribing, all that stuff. Um, my sneaker rotations start the first day is Monday, and then the last day and Sunday. So, yeah, just so you know, because I know some people start off Sunday and then might end Saturday or something. So, um, yeah, that's how I do mine. So, Monday. I end up breaking off with this one, and it is the... Nike Air Vapor Max 97. Crazy fly flames, all that stuff, man. Um, is this is this probably to be honest with you? This is probably gonna be like one of my most worn sneakers for like the other year. I'm already just saying that, and I probably should have like doubled up or something. Um, I don't. I know me when I wear my shoes, I don't dog them out or anything, but I can see these lasting for the long haul. I don't know about this whole Vapor Max. Uh, technology hopefully since it's a little bit more new um, you know you won't get the normal uh, falling apart and everything that happened with most kicks but again I wear my stuff casually so I mean I don't I don't too much really worry about it like falling apart and all that stuff so yeah go check out the review on this see in a lot of my kicks see that green glow still going but a lot of my kicks and some stuff I just picked up and I'm still like um just trying to uh, uh, break in and then it's like new kicks and stuff so i am going to still be going back as my sneaker rotations progress or whatever i'm gonna still be going back into the archives and what i mean by going back into the archives stuff i already got from years ago you know i'm gonna still be wearing i don't i, I you know my sneaker rotations i don't want it to be stuff i just picked up i'm already you know i'm always wearing it or something like that on the exception of a few, you know what I mean? If it's like a shoe that's like five years or older or four years or older or something like that, I might have to crack them boys out and make sure, you know, you got to wear them to make sure they don't fall apart. So, Tuesday, I end up rocking these joints right here. And um, shout out to everybody that went to go see the review too, man, on this one too. This one probably just wasn't liked as much. I know on the video I said I was actually going to put a lime green lace into it, but I actually got... I just put a red one in. I thought about the Opium Air Max 180s. Only thing this one doesn't have, obviously, is that Desert uh, Desert Storm camo on the back, like the Air Max 180 uh, Opium joints got. But that lime green or that Volt green with like that red, obviously in my case a red lace, just made the shoe pop a little bit more. Um, so if I do get around to doing it on feet, it'll definitely look like this, so you guys can see how it looked. Now, like on camera, it's just all sharp and like this. It just looks like a penguin foot. For some reason, I think about penguin and Batman back in the day. But yeah, so I end up rocking these on Tuesday. Buy what you like, man. Buy what you like. Fuck the haters. The hell with the haters. Bringing it to a Jordan. Wednesday. This is a joint that I already... Um, review go look at the review for that and um yeah man crazy classic and fly i love it this i mean you can't go wrong with it 
You can basically wear it with anything and it's easy to rock with everything. But this is what, this is probably like one of my oldest pickups that I just got recently. This is Jordan 3 from 2011. You know, uh, still in like DS condition. So it's very important that I had to like wear these. And I think on one of my earlier sneaker rotations, I actually told you guys that like I was probably, y'all probably actually might see this more often in my sneaker rotations, if anything, because, you know, this is an older shoe and then I got the air bubble and the last thing you wanted to do was just break down. So, and not too many people is wearing these, you know what I mean? You, Very few people got the actual free throw line one. So, at least when I go out, man, I don't see people that, like maybe it's because, it's, maybe it's until you run into an actual sneaker head, you know what I mean? And the thing is, you starting to, with Nike doing some of these limited releases and stuff, and stuff I'm just releasing through the sneakers app, there's certain stuff that ain't released in stores that you have to get through the app, blah, blah, blah. So that lets you know, to me, that's just an indicator, like, okay, this person must have had the sneakers app, because they only just came out on the sneakers app, so they must really be in the kicks. It ain't, to me, it ain't like regular people that just be all on the sneakers app all like that. You know what I mean? They probably shop on a regular Nike website when they're in need of kicks. You know, regular person shop for kicks every year or two or something like that. And they probably get one or two two new pairs, maybe on average a year of shoes. So that's my guess, you know, and they might, might be like, oh, I need some for the summer. I need some for spring. And then go get boots for the fall or winter and stuff. So, you know, again... With this one though, definitely classic, definitely flame. So this is what I wore one Wednesday. I wanted to keep the thing going. This one I just this was just still sitting out from like a previous week. I wore these. I never put them back in the box, and I just I, I, you know I just threw these on just like with the quickness. So this fell on Thursday. Thursday and the rocking these the taxi joints. Crazy, crazy that these is not actually even releasing uh, this year. Um, so I guess these will still remain as head turners. You know, the head turning velocity uh, slows down a little bit when everybody gets these. You know what I mean? So, and it's not to really impress people. You know what I mean? As far as me personally, personally, I'm just happy that I got them. And this is one of them W's that I got. If you've been subscribed to my channel long enough, this is a 2013 W. And I finally just got it in 2018. So I remember these came out around my birthday in 2013. And I really wanted these, but they sold out so damn quick. And I didn't think they was going to sell out that quick. But yeah, they did. So yeah. So yeah, I ended up rocking these for Thursday. Friday came around. And I ended up rocking these right here. Woo! Definitely fly. Definitely flames. Probably one of the... You know, top 10 shoes out of everybody collection this year. Um, as far as me getting the, the black and gray joints, you know, the shadow ones and all that stuff. I, I, I'm I going to try, but at the same time, I'm not going to try as hard as I did to get these. The black and gray, that's cool. If I luck up on them and get them, fine. But I'm happy to say, well, I still got these, man. It's like every day like Christmas when I put, pull these out, you know, so I'm happy I got them. Um, but, yeah. Bread toe ones for Friday. That's the way to do it. Saturday. I ended up rocking these joints right here. Recently just did a review on these. Definitely fly. Definitely crazy. Definitely flames. Definitely classic. All that shit, man. Y'all know how I do. Again, not too many people was up on this shoe. This is one of the shoes that, like, I don't really see them everywhere or anything. So, if you, it's one of the things, like, if you in the kicks, and this was actually probably available to regular people you know what i mean but i don't think it just wasn't in that i still have yet to see these in the store but let me go check at the mall next this week or next week or something to see if these in there and people just walking by because ain't nobody gonna know unless you're in the kicks these definitely fly if y'all seen the review i did the comparison to the um to the other ones that look like easter joints too but yeah this definitely a nice colorway and now I'm thinking about it, I was like, could this possibly have been part of that South Beach colorway thing that Nike is kind of doing? To me, as far as my thoughts on the South Beach colorway, man, just real quick, ain't even no point in making a video about it. It just feel kind of late, and it just feel kind of played, 
to me, that whole South Beach uh, time was like, it was cool for when it was its time, which is when the LeBron Ace came out, because obviously that's where the whole South Beach colorway stuff come from now. But I feel like they kind of like reaching with it in a way. They making the Air Max 97 Miami Beach like colorway and all that stuff, man. I mean, I guess it's cool to just see certain silhouettes in that colorway, but to me, it just feel like it's kind of like if they started making Galaxy stuff. And it's like, but the the Galaxy stuff had its major run in 2012 and a little bit of 2013. So it's kind of like that theme is kind of worn out, and it's kind of it's not that much time hasn't passed yet. It's surprised. It's crazy that this much time is passing, but to me, like. In sneakerhead years, like, to me, that much time hasn't passed yet for that theme to be put back out in the shoes. It was a highly successful theme. I like the whole Space Galaxy stuff. Some of the Miami Beach colorways are okay, but I can see Nike just really running, running with it. Again, this one is not... I, I didn't really think about Miami Beach until I started seeing more of the Miami Beach releases come out. That's not to put anybody off about this shoe in this colorway. This is probably, like, one of the best ones and the best silhouette, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah. Fly, flames, all that stuff, man. That nice tumble leather. And this is what I wore for Saturday. Sunday, I end up rocking these joints right here. It's probably a little too white to see. There we go. And it is the Legend Blue 11s. Definitely had to crack these out, man. Did a review on them. I don't know if this has been part of my sneaker rotation yet, but y'all know, y'all should already know I didn't wear these too much. I don't really too much plan on wearing these too much, but um, realistically though, like these, just a nice spring kick, nice summer kick. I don't really too much want to wear them too much because they're white. Me, that's why I'm not the biggest person to wear, the, you know, to have every like white Jordan or triple white, but these definitely had to have them because they were classic. You know, like the white metallic fives, those classic too, but man, again, it's like, I don't want to be super conscious about wearing a white shoe, so... You know, most time I just bring these out sometime, but I might bring them out uh, again, maybe the next week or something like that, just to, you know, get some wear in them. Again, this is another one. This is a 2014 shoe that I just want to wear a little bit so it won't fall apart. So that was all the kicks I wore for this week. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.